Becca, who was the original founder who kind of sprouted the idea. She was in the cat cafes and had been in Asia for about 15 years in Japan, where the concept is that you have very small homes, you're not allowed to have animals in a lot of these places, so these cafes would have animals that live there full time, so people could go and kind of get their cat fix that way. And then last year in Oakland, they opened Cat Town, which changed the model to where cats are more for adoption. Because in the US, we have tons of space and tons of room and tons of animals. So it's the opposite problem where there's just cats everywhere and filling up shelters. And so it was a way to put them in a more high profile showroom where maybe people will go to other than a shelter. So that was kind of the final inspiration that led her to launch the Kickstarter and really get the process going. In Austin, there's a huge amount of cats that are currently in shelters. We work with the Humane Society, where we get all our cats from, okay. but they also work in conjunction with a lot of other shelters. So when we have 25 cats here, it means there's 25 more cages opened up there. I mean, it's just a great overall experience. We've worked really hard on air quality and cleanliness, so people with allergies usually can still do pretty well because we feel like if you go in there and it smells like cats you're not going to want to eat. The $50 is the adoption fee. I mean we've been averaging over an adoption a day. We had four yesterday so we'd be on pace at this point for over 400 in a year which I think is more than all the other cat cafes in the U.S. combined. So I think this model is you know really the way to go.